lovely readers. Welcome to Living the Tales with me, Priyanka. Thank you so much for joining me in my story time. Are you ready for today's story? So this story is about a little kid, Oliver, who doesn't like chores and responsibilities. He believes that his dog and the other dogs have easy life. No having to clean toys, no eating broccoli, no finishing homework. So one evening, he sees a falling star and wishes to be a dog. And his wish magically comes true. So let's find out as we read together Oliver and the Wishing Star written by Jennifer Decker. If you have a copy, please go get it so you can read along with me. Oliver and the Wishing Star by Jennifer Decker and Krish Wendy Bye mom, Oliver shouted. I'm going swimming at Finn's house. I'll be back for dinner. Oliver reached for the doorknob. He was almost there, almost free. And then he heard it. Not so fast. Do you have any homework? Oliver groaned. Yes. He admitted, but I'll finish it when I get back, I promise. Oliver's mom folded her arms and began tapping her foot. He knew that look, it was not good. Oliver, do you remember the last time I let you go over to Finn's house without finishing your homework? How you were up way past your bedtime, way past my bedtime? In fact, I seem to recall you fell asleep in class that very next day. But, mom, pleaded Oliver. But, mom, nothing, she said. Why don't you take Cooper for a walk and then you can start your homework before dinner? Sighing, Oliver looped the leash over Cooper's head. It was so unfair. How come he had to miss out on having fun just because his lousy teacher gave him homework? What was so important about homework anyway? Dogs never have homework, he said as he walked. In fact, dogs don't have any responsibilities. You've got it so easy, Cooper, and I am cursed. The farther they went, the more Oliver thought about the idea of being a dog. I know we're supposed to be the dog's masters, but who's really barking orders? You want to go for a walk? We take you for a walk. You want food? We give you food. And when you're done doing your business outside, who gets stuck cleaning it up? We do. I do. Suddenly, Oliver realized he'd reached the corner. He eyed the crosswalk. He wasn't supposed to cross the street alone. But who was going to stop him? No one. That's who. Oliver looked left, then right, then left again, and then he definitely stepped off the curb. But breaking the rules wasn't any more fun than following them, and he quickly turned around. Cooper, you don't know how lucky you are, Oliver said a bit later. No homework? No chores, no having to eat broccoli, yuck! You don't even have to say excuse me when you let one rip. I'll trade places with you in a minute. That's when Oliver noticed a falling star. A wish on a falling star? He whispered. Then he shouted, I wish I were a dog! Oliver waited a minute, then another when nothing happened, he threw himself down on the bed in disgust. A little while later, Oliver awoke to the sound of Cooper growling. What's the matter, boy? he asked. Then Oliver spied himself in the mirror. He couldn't believe it. He'd really turned into a dog. His wish had come true. Oliver looked around. He had to get out of there before mom spotted him. He quickly hopped out of the window and set up down the street. This is too cool, shouted Oliver. 
I am a free man. I mean dog. But Oliver's happiness didn't last long. The darker it got, the colder it got, and soon it began to rain. The wind howled and Oliver's stomachs began to growl. That's when he heard old lady Brewster. She was well known for having a soft spot for strays. Hi there, pup. I've got some food for you. Oliver bounded forward, excited for a snack. But as he leaned in, a terrible smell hit his nose. Gross. I'm not eating dog food. Oliver barked. What is it, boy? Aren't you hungry? asked the old woman. Oliver jumped off the front porch and headed home. Maybe somehow his mom would recognize him. But when he got home, he found his parents eating without him. They didn't even notice I'm gone, he sniffed. Head hung low, Oliver backed away from the window. He was so busy feeling sorry for himself that he didn't pay attention to where he was. Then suddenly, Gotcha! Oliver screamed for the dog catcher to let him go, but no words came. Instead, the only sound was barking. Oliver saw his life flash before his eyes. How he wished this was all a bad dream. Mommy! Oliver screamed. Mommy, help me! Oliver, wake up! screamed his mom. Oliver opened his eyes. He was back home in his room. That must have been some crazy dream, Oliver's mom said. You were tearing at your sheets, calling out to me. It wasn't a dream. I was a dog. There was the star. I made a wish. It was real. Oh, Oliver, you just had a bad dream. Come on, dinner's ready. Oliver rubbed his eyes. With one last kiss on the head, Mom left Oliver's room. Throwing off his covers, he hopped out of bed and gasped. His feet and sheets were completely covered with mud. It wasn't a dream. That night at dinner, Oliver's dad asked if he would say grace. Oliver nodded. Dear God, thank you for this food we are about to receive. Thank you for my mom and dad. And thank you for not making me a dog. Amen. Oliver's mom and dad looked at each other and then at Oliver. What was the last thing you said, Oliver? Asked his dad. Oh, nothing, Oliver said. And as he stuffed his mouth full of spaghetti, he made himself a promise to never again wish he were anyone or anything else. He was Oliver and that was pretty good.